What's going on everybody? Today I'm so frustrated and I want to go over this uh, quick jack thing with you because I want to make sure that nobody else goes through this as well. And uh, you could potentially be spending a lot of money and uh, not get what you want. So I bought this quick jack specifically for these two cars, my Porsche 944 and my Mark III Supra. I have made a lot of videos on both of these cars. You can go to my channel, check that out. But getting back to the quick jack thing, and this is not a bashing video in any way to quick jack, okay? Uh, quick jack, if you don't know, it's, it's, it's basically a product range from Benpack. Great company, they make great lifts for cars and garages, commercial, residential, etc. And uh, so a lot of people are raving about quick jack. And so far, I like the build quality. There's some very good things about it. But let me tell you what the problem is that I have with quick jack. So this is basically what Quick Jack is, is two separate platforms that basically raise a car either, you know, uh, from uh, up to 14 to 24 inches, depending on what, uh, basically what model Quick Jack you get. Now there's a range on the website and they do help you navigate towards uh, certain measurements. Uh, to get you the right quick jack. For, so for, for instance, they, they show you how to measure the uh, bottom of your car to the floor, make sure that you have enough space to fit the car there in between the wheels and, and all that. So now when you're choosing your quick jack, it's important to understand that because you wanna know the weight of your car. Can this lift handle what I'm gonna be doing with it uh, and, and so forth. So, so they do have a lot of documentation on that on the website. What they do not tell you is, can it work for your specific car? And I think there's a very specific reason for that. And I think it's a sales tactic, if you ask me. There should be no reason why they couldn't have a, a, a drop down on their website that says, search on your specific car and tell me if it fits my car or not. They don't have this on the website and that's a problem. Now, when I got my quick jack, it came in very nicely. Uh, it was about five different boxes. Very cool, I had a lot of fun going through the boxes and putting this together. It took me about four hours to put the whole thing together, bleed the system, make sure that everything is operational and working well. So that all went well. Now, when I got my quick jack, I got this handy dandy little handbook that says right here, vehicle lifting points. Now, if you go through this manual, it will give you a list of all kinds of cars, right? You have here Acuras, everything pretty much. And it'll show you, right, the lifting points, where you need to uh, jack up the car, etc. Now, if I go, for instance, let's look for a Porsche, right? Let's go to the end here. Uh, da, 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 da. P, 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 P. Volkswagen, Toyota, Subaru, Porsche, right? So, if I go here, There's no listing for the Porsche 944. If I go up front, it has a list as well. And if I go here and I look for Porsche, guess what? Doesn't list any of them. No 944, 924, 68, etc. And if I go to Toyota, as you can see here, is showing me a listing for a BMW. So again, this is not bashing Quick Jack, but uh, I do feel a little bit frustrated that they don't have that feature on their website. It's very simple to do. Create a little database on your uh, website with a drop down where it gives you the capability to your customers to specifically input their car model, year making model, and figure out if it's gonna work for your specific vehicle or not. It's a very simple thing to do. Now, my fault for not being completely, completely thorough and doing my research on lifting these cars with a quick jack before actually purchasing it. Now, I guess I, I don't really regret purchasing it. I know that I have here a massive list of cars that I'll be able to use in the future, but for right now, guess what? 
Now I know for the 944 specifically, there's a, a f some people that are actually lifting the car improperly from what I've seen online at the potential of causing some damage to your car, which, which I do not want to do. So, but let me know if anybody has done any kind of like adjustment on their quick jacks or if anybody has lifted any one of these two cars with a quick jack and how you did it. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time.